Welcome back to the show. Miss Tabitha had to step away. You know, I think she's going to go on a ghost hunt. I could be wrong. I don't know. But we're going to get back to Babes in Toyland soon. You know, I'm, I'm rather beginning to like this film. It's not as bad as I predicted. I thought you might. You're so mean to me. Anyways, we've got to do letters because we, we have to do them, right? We do. We do. Well, off we go. Let's do some letters. Give me a letter. Sir, please. Thank you. How are you, Miss Tangella? You know, I like what she's done with it. Oh, yes. We will do the gift. Don't worry. No, I'll bring them out. She made a gift for Andrew. You can imagine what that's going to be. All right. First letter is from Tim from Carmel by the Sea, California. You know, I like this place. It's it quite tells lovely. You, no, it tells you where it is. It's not Carmel by the volcano. It's Carmel by the sea. It's oh. a big difference. I also like Carmel by the volcano too, but it's hot there. All right, here we go. Dear Creature Features, this is probably one of the many letters or emails you'll receive concerning that mysterious brunette woman in the blue dress visiting during the Halloween show. She's hiding behind the tree tonight. I personally think that she was the ghost of that lady whose painting hangs in your mansion. You don't say. I think we've got that one figured out, do we not? How do I know? Note how Tangella didn't throw candy at her. I've always felt Tangella was the most sensitive and aware of you three. She knew that if she tossed a confection at the brunette guest, it would merely go through her spooky clothing. Therefore, I would consult with Tangella about the dubious inhabitants of your mansion. She knows. Well, you know, I think we've got this thing figured out. On Halloween, she can leave the painting for long periods of time, but the rest of the year, she can only jump out for a moment. And she didn't figure that out. We all did. Although she is rather sensitive, but sensitive to insults about her hair, not so much about ghosts. He is the sensitive one. He cries during sad films. It's true. Or he has an eye infection, one of the two. Anyways, thanks for writing, Tim, and we hope everything's nice at Carmel by the sea. Say hi to Clint Eastwood for us. You know, he owns, he owns a restaurant down there. What in God's name is this? This is from The Invisible Man. All right, next up. This one is from Tony Walsh in Chandler, Arizona. I like Chandler. We, you know, we're on a TV station in Chandler. Yes, indeed. No, it's a good station. It's a good town. Lots of heat. They have that high mountain. I forget what it's called. I've, I've been to the top of this mountain. It's a nice view. You can see Phoenix from up there. Yeah, yeah, nothing impresses this man. I'm not even going to speak to you anymore. You just, he's glum tonight. All right. Tony goes, Dear Creature Features, I watch your show every week on TV over Roku. You know, we have a Roku channel. Every single Saturday night since August 18th, 2018. He's dedicated. Have not missed even one episode since that date. I don't watch it because I like it. I watch it because my wife likes it and she makes me watch it. I don't like your show, but she gives me little choice. Frankly, I think it's the goofiest program I've ever seen and I have no idea why any station would carry it. Well, this is going south, is it not? Indeed. I would rather be out in my garage working on my 65 Mustang project car. But she insists this is our family time, and I have no say in the matter. The reason I am writing to you is to make a request. Please either skip an episode or show a rerun the weekend after Christmas this year. My car should be done by then, and I hope to unveil it in our town's annual Winter Hot Rod and Cruise that Saturday. If you broadcast a new episode, I won't be able to go. Thank you for your consideration. Tony Walsh, Channel Arizona. This is the weekend he's talking about, is it not? I believe so. I think you're out of luck, Tony. Too bad. And say hello to your wife for us. One more. One more. Is this the last one? Yes. All right. And this came in the post from Patrick Sala. But there's a P in the front. I imagine the P is silent. Yes. And he's from Gilroy. Gilroy. Garlic. Oh, Garlic it's, capital of the world. It is a handwritten letter. A very nice stationery. From Patrick, God, the capital of the world. I knew that before you even told me. Not many vampires here pity. And he writes, Hey guys, Vincent Livingston and Tangela too. Been a fan of Creature Features since early Bob Wilkins, then John Stanley. 
Met them both. Bob at, I believe, a Phantasm movie gathering, and John at the California Pop Orchestra. I didn't know John was in the orchestras. Well, I suppose if it's Pop Orchestra, that would make sense. Bought a few books of his. Hate to say it, and no disrespect meant, but your show has become too family-oriented for kids, well, especially tonight with this film, eh? Time slot. I guess I got used to your immediate time slot predecessor, Creepy Coffee Movie, with the demon Borlock and his buddy No Name, allowing, also with his entourage of scantily clad ladies. I know a bit campy and not for your youngsters, but it was fun. Oh, well. Sorry for being so winded. Still watch you guys. P.S. Need a character to scare the kitties a bit more in the background. Would also like to visit that old haunt of yours. Sincerely, Patrick, horror fan. Uh, you know, the Creepy Coffee movie gang, I, they're still showing on, uh, is it uh, Amazon.com? If you go to Amazon, you know, where you could watch free movies, you could still see the old reruns, but they don't make that show anymore. So, you know, there's not much we could say about that, right? Not much to say at all. And there's too many boobies on that show. They wouldn't let us run at 9 o'clock if we were showing boobies, right? You mean stupid people? No. You know, bosoms. Ah. Right. All right, so you've got a thing for Andrew. Andrew, we, we need you out here. Now, come on, wait. No, come on, come on. He doesn't want to come out because she injured him as Santa Claus. Come on, she's got a gift for you. Come on, let's see this gift. Look, it's like Christmas. Go on, take the gift. Look at how sweet she is. See, she's not as devilish as we've been led to believe. Well, come on, open it up. It's not a bomb. She would not blow up a bomb near me. I know this. You're too slow, Andrew. Oh, that's one. Hold it up for the camera. Hold it up for the camera. It's a cookie, a gingerbread cookie that says Andrew. There's no head. Ooh, that's all right. All right, go eat your cookie. Be gone. Off, off you go. Off you go. See, he got a headless cookie. It's kind of nice. All right, if you would like to send us a letter of your own by email, send it to the address you see appearing over by my shoe. Or if you'd like to send something in the post, like our friend from Gilroy, send it to the address you see here. We'll be right back with Miss Tabitha, but first let's get back to Babes in Toyland. Hello there, my name is Brian. I'm calling from Santa Rosa. I always love your show, and um, if you could possibly play Carnival of the Souls sometime soon. It's a very fine film. Thank you so much. Bye. 